Hello everybody and welcome to Terraria. This is the 1.4 Journeys update. And it is supposed to be the last update. Uh, we'll have to see if they go any farther with it. Terraria is probably one of my favorite games of all time. People are like, oh, it's just, it's just 2D Minecraft, but no, 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 no. <laughs> it's way more than that. I'll, I'll show you. I will show you. So my name is Master Mark. Uh, I have done many playthroughs of Terraria. I haven't recorded any of them. I have uh, like th two or three episodes um, on my channel from like way back. Uh, I didn't really do much, but this one I plan to play through on Master Mode. See how far we can get. I beat Expert Mode. I, I, I on my, by my own, uh, on my own. I beat Expert Mode all the way through, first boss to last boss. So I have a pretty basic idea of how the game works and what items you sort of need to get to progress. We're going to play on Classic, so we're going to drop money. I don't really play on Medium or Hard. I don't like losing items that take a long time to get. Our character name... Uh, I already ha have a character name, Master Mark. So we're going to call ourselves Master Mork. <laughs> that works. Let's go for like the floofy hair. I like that. Um, we can change the color of the hair, although we can get hair dyes later. Yeah, I kind of like this with the green hair and the green armbands with like the grayish. Uh, see if we can make this more gray. Okay, and the boots we will make kind of like that same color. I just like the top. Copy. Paste. There we go. So that should be like the same color. Yeah, I like this. We are on Classic Master Mork. So now we have our character here, Master Mork. Uh, we're going to go on him. We're going to make a new world. I'm going to do medium. Large is too big for one person. Small is small is okay. Uh, small, you don't get as much stuff. It's very, like, condensed. Medium's like a good... Medium's like in the middle. <laughs> it's like the Goldilocks thing. So in 1.4, they also added Journey. Which is kind of like creative. They have the classic, which is just like normal, expert, which I've done, and master. Look at that. The, look at that. Look at the little picture. Snap of kindness. Kingdom of suffering. I, th <laughs> I think that's perfect. Uh, the seed. Let's get a good seed here. Look at that. Look at that nice long seed. Let's go with that one. And I like the corruption. Crimson's cool. You get like the brains and like the face monsters and stuff, but I kind of just prefer corruption. So I'm going to do that. So the Kingdom of Suffering, it's a medium master mode world with corruption. Nice. All right. Ah, looking for a challenge? Try expert. No, we're going to try master. <laughs> All right. Our world is created. The Kingdom of Suffering. Here we go. All right. Here we are. So we start with. The copper short sword, the copper pickaxe, and the copper axe. And wow, I got a legendary copper pickaxe. Wow, that's insane. Look look at the stats. Oh my god, that's so cool. So here's our world. So the first thing I think we want to do is rearrange these. I like it pickaxe, axe, weapon. So that way I know, you know, where all my things are. I cut down these sunflowers. Um... Sunflowers, if you don't know, are good for giving you a happy buff and stopping the spread of corruption. We don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, I just noticed we have 100 health. Wow. I am not used to that. We're going to need some heart crystals ASAP. Die, slime. And the slimes are about the same as expert, as far as I can tell. We're going to need these mushrooms for later. Uh, I should probably chop down some of these trees as well. We need wood. We need wood basically the entire game. It's just one of those essential materials. Okay, so we have two living trees here. I like that they updated the world gen. Um, so that trees can be like together. That's like a cool thing. Uh, we can't make many torches right now, but we need them for this. Yeah, one of my pet peeves is I need torches. Just give me... As many torches, I'll light everything up. <laughs> Don't worry about it. When there's not torches. Because if, if you go back to an area and there's no torches, like at night or something, you can't see anything. That always, like, bothers me. <laughs> it's like, put some torches down. So, moving down here. 
Uh, looks like we can go this way. I'll go this way for a little bit. We need to search the surface first. But I will grab some of this stuff. Anything here? Not really, so I'm gonna go back up. We need more platforms. Let's get back up. Okay, we don't need the platforms anymore. Back up we go. Yeah, movement is very important in this game. You want to get a hang of it as soon as possible. I'm playing on a keyboard. I know the game's out for, I think, 3DS and Switch, which is cool. Ow! Bad slime. Oh, he's got something in him. Iron skin? No, swiftness. Do we have rope? We do! Nice. Rope is the greatest thing in the game early on. You want rope as soon as possible. Because we don't have anything to help us jump higher. Oh god, there's two more slimes coming. Ouch. Nice. Dodge them. Moving more left. Where are we? We're a little bit away from spawn, but that's okay. We want to look for stuff. Wow, we got like a mountain over here. Okay, light this up. There's some copper. I should probably grab that. Let's grab it. You can make wood armor, but there's so much copper in the world anyway. You might as well just grab copper. Fall carefully. Hey, okay, use some more of our rope here. What do we get? Some healing potions is pretty good. Pots have very useful items early on, like glow sticks. Very useful for when you get trapped in water and stuff like that. Oh, there's a trap. Not today. Hit the wake up pretty early to up. Oh, there's another one. Pretty early to hit me with some of those traps. Use some more of our rope. Let me up. Get me up there. Okay. It's going pretty well so far. Some recall potions. Those will be useful until we get a mirror. How much copper do we have? 14. Not a lot. We need quite a few bars to where are our platforms. Okay. What is that? That was two gold! Just sitting there. Oh god, slimes. Back. Back, you fiends. Oh, this is really bad. Wow. Oh, there's so m Look at all the slimes! Why was there like eight slimes right here? My gold! No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did I get attacked by eight slimes all at once? I've never seen that happen. Usually the game's like, here's a slime. You know, here you go. Here's some enemies. I've never been attacked by that many slimes early on. So, while we're back at spawn, we'll get that gold back. It doesn't really matter. I like building my base near spawn. So when you spawn, uh, you know, you're safe, especially early on. Let's see, where's spawn? Here? Like, right here? Okay, we want to chop some of this down. Because early on, you need a base, and you can't usually get a bed right away, so having your base in spawn usually helps a lot. So we have some wood. Okay. Let's start here. How far do we want to go? I highly advise using this ruler tool. 50. Let's do 50. I can... Let's make the base that big. Slime, get out of my way. Ow. Yeah, get him, Colin. Messed me up. How long is this? 24. Alright. Thank God for the ruler. Although it's kind of annoying that it favors, not favors one side, but it's easier to measure this way. So we're one block over, so let me just chop, chop off that last piece of wood. Okay. Put down a workbench, like, I don't know. This is spawn right here. Let's put it down, like, here. 
We want two doors. We need a table and a chair. That's one, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth block. I usually like marking the fifth block. I find that it helps me build. No. I know what you're thinking. You're not. No. <laughs> I'm trying to build. Stop. Okay, so we now have two doors. Put a torch here. Two, three, four, five. I think this will be a good size for like the starting house. It's pretty big usually. I usually make a shack, but... Oh, I'm out of wood. Oops. I am in need of more wood. I shall take from the forest, but also give back. You want to plant acorns. If you don't plant acorns, you will soon run out of trees. Running out of trees is not good. <laughs> Especially since it's becoming nighttime very soon. And zombies... Zombies, when you first start out of the game, hit really hard. Especially the ones with the arms. So, get- get out of my house! This is mine! I will take you out of this world. Heal. He was died. We need heart crystals now. There we go. Foundation of the house set. And we can kind of split the house in two. We can do like this. Put this down, chest. Like, I don't know, like here. We need to make a campfire for the passive region. We also need to make a furnace. Let's just make wood armor. I know I said I wasn't gonna make it, but let's just make it. It's really easy to make. No. Who do you think you are? No. Oh, he hurts. It's gonna break all my bones. So there's no zombie set, so that means we can just keep keep getting Oh my god, there's one. Run. We can we can beat him there. <laughs> uh so we can finish our wood armor. Full wood set, we get one defense. This is very important. Armor you want a full armor set because you get a set bonus. So instead of having three defense, I now have Wait. The Greece have no stats at all. Why? Why don't the wolf- <laughs> That's stupid! Why don't the wood greaves have one so that the armor set gives you four? Why would they do it like that? I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. So there's our table and our chair, but we can check. This is missing a wall. So we need wood wall. I don't have enough to fill this, so let's... Hmm, it's kind of dangerous. We might have to just chill for a little bit. Because <laughs> uh, I don't really want to get hit by these. Oh, that squirrel. Squirrel, my friend. <laughs> you should not have been outside during nighttime. No, no, stay up in the tree. Okay, so honestly, I think the best thing to do is probably wait until morning. Zombies are just too hard right now. We don't have the resources or materials to really take care of them. So let's just wait and let's just skip to morning. Colin. Colin, I'm scared. They're out there. No, Colin, don't cry. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Is it time? The zombies are leaving. Be gone, zombies. Colin's not scared. Look at him. He's ready to go back outside. <laughs> So let's let the zombies despawn. Is it safe? Is it secret? You should really plant one of these. The sunflowers give you the happy buff. Movement speed and monster spawns reduced, which is really nice. So, bunny, please. Bunny, bunny, bunny. I'm just trying to cut down some trees. <laughs> I'm not trying to hit you. That's right, keep going left. There you go. Great. Everything will be great. Let's grab about a hundred... What the heck is that? A grapefruit? Minor improvements to all stats for five minutes. Oh, that'll be useful. We can use that for a boss or something. Let's make this flat, actually. Sorry, Sunflower. Maybe we can extend wood out this way a little bit. There we go. Let's try to get a hundred wood. That's like a good amount to have on hand. There we go, 100. And we shall take our acorns. And trees need a specific, um, like, space 
to grow. So if you use control, it'll show you the optimal placement for trees, which is really helpful. That way you waste no space. There we go. Look at that. Look how nice this is. There's a little worm there. <laughs> we'll need him later. Wow, look at all these mushrooms. I will be eating all of the... Oh, this is cool. It's like a little rocky thing here. I'm not used to seeing that. Bunch of sunflowers. Let's grab these. Because you only need about like one or two... So one is enough to stop the spread. So I'll leave these two right next to each other. Oh, they're fine there. It also gives us a buff. Even more sunflowers. Wow. Okay. Transitioning into a desert. Cool. I like the desert. Get some cactus. Oh no, it's one of these. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the cactus, uh, not cactus, the desert biomes with the big holes. So these can be kind of scary early on. So let's go over it. Oh. Get away. We can outrun them actually, so let's just keep going. <laughs> I am in no danger, I'm fine. <laughs> No danger whatsoever. No danger. No. How much damage did he do? 45? Did I, do I not have 100 health? 45 and 45 is not 100, I, I don't think. I just noticed we have six accessory slots already. Or do we normally have six? I thought you get six from killing the wall of flesh. Is that different? Do we get an extra accessory slot? Maybe... I don't remember. So yeah, that hole bad. Don't go in that hole. Not yet. Thankfully, we, no vultures are going to follow us this time. <laughs> oh, look at these purple flowers. That's nice. So let's go down here. Hopefully, we'll find something good. Oh, yeah. That's me getting snapped in half by a vulture. <laughs> what is this, lead? Okay, let's grab some lead. We'll need that. Let's use some of these bombs. Mining is real slow to start out with. Let's see if we can't speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna get some light around as well. Is there nothing in this cave? Huh. I was hoping there would be something. That's alright. I didn't want to throw that. <laughs> Go that way, slime. Oh, it's a windy day too. So this is a new event in Terraria 1.4. You can see the trees kind of like sway. It's very like nice and peaceful. I like it. Add some more life to the world. Please give me a chest. I need items. I'm going to survive. It's a chest with a blowpipe. Uh, allows for collection of seeds for ammo. Uh, not big fan of the blowpipe. Let's see if we can't find something else. Throwing knives. Pretty good. Throwing knives are pretty good. They'll help us out. There's a slime in here. Run! It's a trap. <laughs> that did 111 damage? Are you kidding me? No way it does that much. Oh, there's a regen potion down there. I need that. Wow. Traps are pretty deadly. <laughs> now that we're back here, though, we can make a furnace, I believe. There it is. There we go. Now we can smelt ores, which is pretty nice. Can we make anything? Not really. We can make a hammer. Uh, put that like here for now. Oh yeah, if you don't know about this, you can you can hold alt and click something, and quick trash stacking and selling will be blocked, which is really helpful. Um, a bow. I guess I'll make a bow. Um, I'm not used to using a bow, but maybe I'll get used to it. It's powerful, but it's a little slow. 
And we can make gesture arrows, but I think regular arrows will be fine for now. That's good, like 200. Off we go. We need to go back that way. That way had chests and some other stuff we need. Throw this obelisk away. We don't want a graveyard. We have a bunch of junk in our inventory. We can... We can sort that later. We still have plenty of space. 